Hello everybody, it's your favorite player, the Gamer Man, Gamer Man, and today we are back with another series. Um, we're just taking another break between the head as cold, just doing, just testing the water with other games, and see how you guys like it. Uh, go check out my other video. I did a, uh, another visual novel let's play, like head as cold, and it's called Broken Silence, and I'm pretty enjoying that game so far. And let's be on with this one. And so this game is called um, M M M M M M Murder most misfortunate it's a uh, basically about murder and you basically you have to play detective so people won't blame you for murdering somebody and it couple, there's two ways you can really beat it either you figure out who actually did the murder or you just blame it on somebody else but look the premise looks interesting so far and i'll have the link down in the description below to check out the game yourselves yourselves so yeah let's go your time Mystery when they able you have to resolve. Huh. Alright, let's try it then. I've I won't say I'm bad at solving mysteries. I just I don't play games like that that often. Left click or press space bar to proceed. Click on whatever that is to have to on the right. I'm assuming this or something. Oh, I have to hide it. Okay, add that. Escape to accent volume and text speed. You scroll to hover what people said. Okay. Pretty legit. My dear misfortune. I hope this letter finds you well. I did so enjoy our little discussion. Well. That, <laughs> it's on high. Okay. Ah, uh, that sounds super low. The work of Guy de Mauvaisier. Wait, that might be just me. Yeah, that's just me. Never mind. I'll... That is me. I thought it was super low for me. No, that's just me. Hope it's not too loud for you guys. It doesn't sound that loud. Cause it sounds super low, which I'm kind of glad. It's kinda... I prefer it to be super low than super high. Cause trying to fix that later it could be AIDS. So we got a letter from Prince. I cannot read the rest of that. Let's print something. I would like to cordially invite you to an intimate gathering of mine on the evening of the 27th. We will be celebrating my recent acquisition of a rather unique historical property, and I think you are just the one to properly appreciate it. I look forward to your RSVP in the affirmative. Most sincerely yours, Prince Titanico. Huh. Prince Titanico. It was at an art auction, I think, that I first met Prince Titanico. He seemed to think the world of himself. I, quite frankly, thought him a bit of a bore. But if I only accepted social invitations from people I thoroughly approved, I wouldn't dine out very often. Oh, yeah, you seem like the person who would do that. I take your invitation for free food and whatnot. That's, yeah, I, I can see you doing that a lot. Especially when the name Misfortunate. Manor Grounds or Manor. Wait, I, stepped onto the curb I said that wrong. It's Manor. There ain't no I in Manor. Okay. For the first time. Okay. Gothic gargoyles loomed ominously over the old house, and creeping vines wound their way up its walls. As though trying to strangle it. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting text. Wait a minute. Where are the gargoyles? That's it's supposed to say it's over the house. Where? Because we got gar we got like um statues here. So, but where are the gargoyles at? The prince yeah. had been right. Probably just. I'm gonna. He really was to my taste. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to talk about when I talk about. I'm about to say that. Uh, they probably didn't have the time or budget uh, as of right now to just put that in there, but I don't blame them. Creating a game is hard. I'm trying to create my own game, but it's just taking a lot to write a script and some other stuff going on. Good evening, ma'am. May I have your name? Ugh, this hulking thug, on the other hand, not so much. Fortune. Miss Fortune. Uh, is the miss a first name or a title, ma'am? Oh. I like to leave that to the imagination. Now you must be the butler, 
So, why don't you buttle on and show me inside? The evening is a bit damp, I dare say. You're an asshole. You are playing as an asshole. Jeez. Uh, no ma'am. I'm not a butler. Just a valet. The time we're the in seem like I'm assuming they don't got cards. The way they're dressed and how their house is, I get around the eighteen hundreds. Late eighteen hundreds. What did the valet do back then? Take care of the horses, I guess? My name is Klops. Oh my. What a terrible shame. Well, butler or valet, you do open doors, don't you? Yes, ma'am. Right this way. That is terrifying. How <laughs> oh, I scrunched up like that. Jeez. Main hall. A little. From the cobwebs. Broken and down. And the dust on the railings. It was obvious that the house had been abandoned for some time. Oh yeah, I can. That's one thing we can agree on. Yes, this is. I've been abandoned a long time. It'd be interesting to have a party here. So why are we having a party in abandoning them house? Don't worry about it. No one's gonna die. Wink, wink. Uh, <laughs> Some high society guests might have been insulted to be invited to a venue in such ill repair, but it didn't bother me. I realized that the house had been preserved as it was for the effect. <clears throat> this fortune has arrived. Ah, Miss Fortune, good evening. Uh, there are refreshments on the side table. Please do help yourself. Horatio. Why, thank you. So, are you the butler? Or are you going to tell me you're just, I don't know, the concierge? It could be another invitee. Butler? <laughs> No, 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 I, I'm not a servant. <laughs> I am a close friend and trusted advisor to our dear prince. The Grand Magus of his court, if you will. Uh, my name is Horatio. Charmed, I'm sure. My dear Miss Fortune, how are you, darling? It's so good to see you again. Contessa de Cassitra. Yes, it's been just ages, hasn't it? Wait, it's saying say her name. Sounds like it said Contesta instead of Comtesta. Eh, I could call her Tessa. I should have known you to be here. You're never one to miss an event on the social circuit. I dare say I needed something to cheer me up after my late husband's funeral. And an evening like this is just the thing. Ah. Huh. Alright. Let's save. Oh, you can choose your save. Interesting. So you just have to go on through. Or it would have given you the option to do that later. Eh. I'm talking about the last man. What exactly was it that we last saw each other? It must have been at the Emperor's Ball. Heavens, yes! Wasn't that quite the affair? Were you there when one of the waiters spilled a tray of champagne all over Duchess Reese's dress? That man must have got killed. There's no way he lived after that day. Especially over Duchess. Oh yeah, that man's dead. Oh yes. That was positively scrumptious, wasn't it? I mean, a shame about the dress, of course. I heard she had it made just for the ball. Such a pity. Such a pity for her? No, such a pity for the waiter that probably got killed. Well, given how many people come out nowadays, it was bound to happen to someone. I even heard the poor servant say he was sure he felt someone in the crowd give him a little shove. Can you imagine? Yes. But surely not. These are high lords and ladies we're talking about. No doubt the man is just making excuses for his clumsiness. You're probably right. <laughs> just an unlucky accident, I'm sure. 
Oh, we're doing both, okay. Of course. I was so sorry to hear about your husband. This is your fourth time a widow, if I'm not mistaken. Nah, she killed her husband. I'm, you can't be a fourth time a widow. And literally, no. Nah, you are very misfortunate wife in the world. Or you just killing your husband. So, matter of fact, it could be both. It could be also, both. and for you, nine, I believe. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, yes. We just keep dropping dead, the poor dears. It's so hard to find a good man with stamina these days. No, we're just killing him. Oh, my. Should I be worried? Perhaps you've been cursed. <laughs> Me? Cursed? <laughs> Nonsense. I seem to be doing just fine. But maybe I am bad luck. Oh, you're just doing fine. You, huh? Ah, Miss Fortune. Welcome. I am so delighted that you could come. I trust Horatio has been keeping you entertained. Is that Batman in the 1800s? <gasps> oh yes. La Comtessa and I were just scandalizing your court jester. Or was he a wizard? In any case, scandalizing him with our intimate marriage details. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course you were. So tell me, what do you think of the house? I must admit, when I first came into this little period piece, I immediately thought of you. Interesting. It seems melancholy, mysterious, and maybe just a little macabre. So yes, I quite like it so far. AT, I won't test to have you. You'd be number 10. Which is really convenient, she's on our ninth. Hmm. Excellent. I'm glad to hear it. I will take you on a more detailed tour shortly. But we are still waiting for more guests to arrive. And what timing? Here they are now. Okay, that's something with Dracula would do. Miss Sharice and Miss Leah have arrived, sir. They look depressed. Like the definition of depressed. <laughs> Is that the Charisse? The industrial heiress? The one who's been throwing all those charity balls ever since she came into her fortune? The very same! My beautiful Charisse, please come in. Without you, this place is dark and drab, but your radiance rekindles it anew. You're too kind. <laughs> oh my! I had heard she was seeing someone, but I never imagined it was him. Hmm, indeed. This party just got a little more interesting. Also, I did say the game was around 1800s, but just kind of throws it out the window. This whole outfit, I don't know what time period are we in. <laughs> I would, I, I don't know if they said it on the game page or not, but I'm now just lost. I guess it's just, it could be based off the 1800s, but I don't know what exact time period we're in. So was, yeah, I, I don't think it would matter in the grand scheme of things. But it, would, it would be nice to know, but anyway, let's continue. And this must be Leah. The girlhood friend of whom you speak so very highly? Yeah, nice place you got here. If you like entertaining dead people. <laughs> dead people? Yeah, I assure you, fair lady, you are perfectly safe here. Why did the teeth move like that? I think it was a critique of the decor, not of our safety. Leah doesn't mean it. It's a lovely house. Really? No, I don't know how I feel about them like, talking like that. Just they barely moved. It just sounds like this. Just barely moved their mouth. It just seems kind of weird. Star stars, I'm fine with it. Just the way they talk. On the contrary, Miss Leah may be more right than she knows. 
Until recently, this mansion was the property of the Lee family. Perhaps you know of them. Ooh, I mean, we may... Oh yes, who doesn't? A distinguished family of the nobility with a respected pedigree and a long history of public service and political influence. So, short version, some stuffy old rich people. Almost all of the estates out here, away from the city, were owned by old families. That's not surprising. But many have had to sell over the years. That's also not surprising. It must be a bit sad for them, leaving all that history behind. I doubt it since they probably had a bunch of mansions. Indeed, and especially so for the Lees. Theirs is a tale of tragedy. And it ends, as they so often do, in sorrow and blood. Oh. See, that's, that's much better. A little bit more emotion. Come. The house itself will tell its share of the tale. This is the smoking room. Did the Lee family this. use this as a quiet place? Well, I can't answer this now, but hmm, I'm important later. I probably should keep talking while they try to talk. A smoking room, huh? That that certainly looks like it with all this paint around. Also, how dingy the walls are. Yeah, that's not like, look like a smoking room. Or was this the proverbial smoke-filled room where secret deals would be struck and the fates of nations decided? You know a lot more about this house than one person should. I know you bought it, but assuming you bought it. That's really... What's the word I'm looking for? It's really specific that you picked that detail to say. My attention was drawn to a curio cabinet on one side of the room. Some of the items within rather struck my fancy. You know, after being called Curse, Horatio calling our character Misfortune, Curse, and whatnot, these objects generally be cursed, and we're looking directly at a mic we'll draw to it. Lovely. This cabinet. Are these items originals? I believe so. I have endeavored to change as little as possible about the house since acquiring it. The Lees were well known as eclectic collectors. I can see that. They also say that sorcery ran strongly in the Lee family, you know. You have some magic we don't know about her right here? <laughs> Great. As if we didn't have enough reason to think this place was owned by a bunch of creepers. Come now, surely a smart little girl like you doesn't put any stock in old superstitions. Magic and superstitions, no. Weird and creepy people, on the other hand, are plenty real. No need to worry, young lady. You're among good company here. I don't know about Klops, though. He, he looks a bit weird to me. I don't know, have you seen Klops? That man looks a bit weird. The fact that his face scrunches up but it looked like he basically have one eye, then that name fits. <laughs> we will have time to look around in greater detail later, I assure you. For the moment, follow me if you would. King Bedroom. They called this the king bedroom, home to the master of the house. Now, it is as you see it, empty and forlorn, as it waits for a new master to take the place of the old. Well, that confirmed when, I guess it's just in modern times, because he's putting on a whole cell phone. So is everyone just dressing like it's the 1800s, or is it like... What? I, they're not giving me much to work with. It feels so... cold. 
You're depressed again, lovely. Milady, I can call for Klops to bring you a sweater. And while he's at it, perhaps also a textbook on metaphorical versus literal language. Hmm. You are so kind, but I'm fine. It's just the atmosphere of this place. The Lees were among our most powerful families before the Imperial Revolution. But like most of the old guard at the time, they chose the losing side. <laughs> In many ways, the family never recovered. They certainly never recovered financially, at the very least. Thus the sale of this very house. It's almost as if old money runs out if you're not smart with it. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Quite so. But at least the house has gone to those who can appreciate its history. There's a lot of history I can see here. The wise that scratched up like that. What happened this here? This is the queen bedroom, and it has a fascinating story. Do tell, because I'm curious why every picture in there is scratched up like that. It is said that the famous senator Lamika Lee herself met her end in this very room during the final days of the revolution. Yeah, I remember learning about that. She was one of the staunchest supporters of the Old Republic. And she was killed here? In her own bedroom? That's so terrible. By all accounts, she did not go down without a fight. Revolutionary soldiers had stormed the grounds, but none who came in here survived. I mean, for a queen, she did pretty well to if you take out a bunch of soldiers like that. Hey, give credit when it's due. They even say that she sustained herself for days on the blood of the soldiers who kept coming for her. Well, points for ingenuity. I'll grant her that. But that was all a long time ago. There wouldn't still be any blood. Oop, I didn't mean to click in. Really? With all the red, it's rather difficult to say, isn't it? Who knows how much of it might have soaked into the floor, the walls, the bed. <sighs> you are right, my darling Charisse. It is all long past. A good tale for a night of ghost stories, perhaps. But thankfully, these are happier times. Dining hall. And here we have the dining hall. I see that Klops has left some tea and coffee on the table for us. And orange juice too, I hope. I'm running rather low. All this dry air, you know? I'll see to it, sir. Where did you come from? For me, just a spot of black coffee would be wonderful. This concludes our formal tour of the estate, but our evening is far from over. Oh, do tell. Tonight, my friends, is more than just a housewarming party. Before the night is done, I have a very special announcement to make to you all. Don't worry, my dear. You are safe with me. Thank you. I was just a bit startled. Shank. Oh, heavens, yes. The light's going out. What horror. I dare say I may faint myself. Delicate flower that I am. And once again, you're an asshole. Flower? A noxious weed, perhaps. Oh, please, Miss Fortune, allow me. I've got you now. You are too helpful. Oh, what would we do without you? On second thought, you can unhand me. I seem to be quite all right. Good, good. Because there's nothing to be worried about. It's just a little blackout. Would you be so good as to check the breaker then, my dear Horatio? 
Uh, yes, of course. Uh, my talents will shed some light on all of us. I keep clicking by accident. I absolutely accident. adore these old homes, but they do so often have problems with the wiring, don't they? I one of the like, decent things anyone has said about well, being a an asshole or sarcastic about it. Excuse me, boss. Sir, there's a telephone call for you. A call for me? Here? How mysterious. You must excuse me, my dear guests. Klops will fetch some candles for you so you can look around while Horatio works his magic on the lighting. I will return very shortly. I wandered back to the king bedroom by myself to take a closer look at some of the decor. Interesting. Still an asshole though, but interesting. Oh, I can actually look around around. Got it. The elaborate carvings on the wooden bedpost intrigued me. Spirits and demons of all sorts circled and surrounded any lord who might sleep in this bed. Was this preferable, I wondered, than sleeping in the arms of Lamaka Lee, blood drinker as she was rumored to be? Yeah, I think it would be more preferable to do that. I think I'd be more asleep in a bed surrounded by spirits and demons than a blood drinker. The air in the old house was still and thick with dust. But even had there been a draft, I doubt the black drapes by the room's window would have stirred. Even I was surprised by how thick and heavy the material was. No sunlight would have pierced its way into this room against its occupant's wishes. That... <sighs> Looks like our court magician has managed to conjure back a little light for us after all. Had these books on the shelf belonged to the Lee family as well? Curious, I skimmed a few of the titles. A History of the Republic. Genealogy of the Great Families. How to Train Killer Bats. Genghis Khan and the... 21 balloons. All dreadfully dull classics, I'm sure. You sound really confused and surprised at the same time why those books were there. Just as I. How to Train Killer Bats, okay. Genghis Khan. Don't know why that's there. And 21 balloons. Don't know what alien is. What else can I look at? Oh, the chandelier. Rapes. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the last, let the other one later. That this one looks a bit creepy. Adore, old chandeliers, especially the ones that come crashing down unexpectedly on the heads of people I don't like. Yeah, you be killing your husband. Life pictures just don't have that same potential. <laughs> yeah, you be definitely killing your husband. I'm sorry. Is something gonna be behind these drapes? And we got oh nah, bruh. I'd hope that by taking a closer look at the ruined portrait, I might be able to discern who had been pictured. I could imagine no shortage of delicious reasons why a lord's portrait might be disfigured in a house such as this. Why well, a little I bit disfigured with blood? Shredded by a bitter servant when the master was thought absent. Savaged by an angry child who never quite lived up to expectations. Alas, the portrait seemed more a victim of old age than of some crime of passion. And of the face, I could make out nothing at all. At last I found you, Miss Fortune. You need to come right away. Uh, please. Whatever is the matter? You look like you've seen a ghost with that one eye of yours. There's no time to waste, miss. You should see for yourself. Gathering my skirts, I hurried after the hulking butler. Uh, sorry, valet. Back to the hall where we had first arrived. From the urgency in his pace and in his voice, I knew that something had happened. But still... 
What, you want to play it all? It was Jeez. Our Prince Titanico. He was dead. That alone wouldn't scare me. I was no stranger to dead bodies. But from the way he was lying, it was clear that his death was no accident. He'd been murdered. And that meant that someone in the mansion was the murderer. Ooh. Loading. Okay. Oh, I guess this is where everything started. I found the rest of the ladies. Now, Klops, what is this all about? And this is where I'm going to say. All right, I think that's good enough for a first impression. Um, I like this game so far. It's pretty interesting. So yeah, uh, let me know you got what you guys think about it. Uh, uh, just a first impression video. So it's probably gonna be a minute, a good minute before I come back to this. So yeah, if you want it back, just leave a like and subscribe and um thanks thanks for watching and i'll leave a link in the description below to let you know where to get the game from yeah alrighty. i'll see you guys later it's your favorite player the gamer man and bye